Good evening everybody, this is Russ, you can pop some by you. Tonight's video is going to be about the Mobile Alabama train show I went to in March 2022. It's brought out, it is sponsored by Swarm, the Southwest Alabama Rail Models Club. It's also going to feature a couple of clips in there on the T-Track module and on the Pensacola N-Track module, the back on track traveling boxcar, so keep an eye out for that. And traveling on, going on into this video, the first section of it's going to be the Swarm T-Track group, which I'm a part of. Got some videos in there. I think the first couple videos are going to be the trains in there belong to my friend um, Clayton. There's four Intermountain F units running that thing. They're pretty nice, Missouri Pacific. And my train's going to be running an Intermountain SD40-2 with sound. It'll be running along in there. And the very last one's going to be, you'll see a steam locomotive running there with some of the roundhouse passenger car, time passenger cars. Plus you'll see my brand shiny new, well, it's not new. I bought it at the train show. It's a Southern Pacific train master in, in the uh, Black Widow scheme. Pulling my friend Glenn's reefer drag right there. And then the next after that is going to be the Pensacola Mile Railroad Club. It's going to be their T-Track layout as well as a video of their HO scale layout. Now, those scale layout, I mean their HO scale layout, has a logging camp with sound of a steam donkey running, and you'll hear the whistle blow every once in a while in here. And then you'll have a, they'll have the meat packing plant with the stockyard with sound. You can hear all the, the animals making noise and all of that. Then I'll have the, um, basically a commuter train, I think it's Lackawanna, running through our three row O scale, which is a swarm which belongs to the Swarm Club. And at the end, there'll be another uh, HO scale layout, which is a little smaller, and it belongs to one of the Swarm members. And in there somewhere, I'm going to have a just a little video of some 3D printed items I bought. And this individual actually ran the on-track, or the back on-track boxcar on the Pensacola layout for me to take videos of. And on to the videos. Here a couple minutes ago. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 
turn it off and try to get it. I'm not snitching on them. I'm just looking at it. I'm just looking at it. I'm not looking at it. Hummingbird hobby is basically packed up. Well, he wanted to leave the ass to you. You like to have big ass? Well, I agree with you. Todd is one. Those T-trap modules were pretty cool. There's a little train run in there. Now this next video is going to start off with the end track from the Pensacola Model Railroad Club. You'll notice we get everything, this fella gets everything set up and we put the uh, on track, I mean the back on track traveling boxcar at the end of this and he hands his controller over to this little boy standing there and he just takes off at warp 20 just going down the track. Eventually everything gets back under control and we can kind of get a video get some video made of that and Then after the end track set the HO scale was got all the sound features in it Plus some detailed work too On to the next video <laughs> He's going <laughs> He's getting <laughs> uh, yeah, when they go fast, they don't stay on pretty good. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, that car's been to Australia and California, all over the place. Wow. What we do is we're shifting around and filming it on our YouTube channel. That's actually a show on Saturdays a bunch of guys do on track. It's come off of something of yours. It's on the floor. <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, I got a car over there to do it, dude. I had the wheels don't want to stay on it today. Then I got two engines that won't cooperate at all. I don't know what the problem was. That looks good right there. Three trains in the scene.
Next, going to be a clip of some 3D printed products, auto carrier and unloading ramp, and a couple of some printed rolling stock. Auto carriers, be it precise, and a well belly tank car. Maybe a place to get that. Now, he was selling those things for $5 a piece at the club, so, I mean, at the meeting, so. Just check it out. 3D printed. Opening and closing doors. Come to the wheels. Examples of them here. Well, belly tank car. Right now they're selling everything here. Look at this little thing. 3D kiss to put together. What these little kits here are. clip's going to be that Lackawanna commuter set going on the Swarm O-Scale layout. I actually had a scaled down version of it in one of my videos. It was the Pecan Festival or something a few months ago. They only had part of it there. This is pretty much the rest of it. Wrong one. Here you go, Dennis, you're rolling. Now this last clip is of HO scale layout that belongs to one of the Swarm members. It's kind of a modular setup. It's pretty nice. It's got some nice trains running on it. And on to this video. much left to say that was a pretty nice video some nice train stuff going on not real big video but some nice stuff to look at and the next video I'm gonna have is some stuff that I bought at the train show and a little bit of boo-boo I made while I was there and leaving I mm, can't believe I did that but I did anyway thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and tell your friends to share it if you want to until the next time I see you, I'll see you later.